You know what time it is. Let's get it. Hey guys, you know why we here and oh, we have a little guest with us today. This is my grandbaby, Denya, or as I like to call her, my moon pie. She gonna be with us for a few minutes while we get this video done whilst um, we wait on mom. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Long time we got it for you, here it is, the strawberry letter. Thank you, nephew. Subject, rainy day romance is in the rover. Dear Stephen Shirley, I'm a 42-year-old married woman in need of advice because I got caught having oh, a... I'm sorry. I'm looking out my window. I don't know if that's my son. A rainy day romance in the back of a Range Rover with my co-worker oh, that happens to be happening. one of my husband's friends. I thought we were all cool, but I recently found out that my husband had oh. put a tracking device in my purse. I'll take you Why? back to the beginning. My car has not been serviced in years because it's an import and the tune-up is very expensive. I also need two new tires and they're expensive too. My husband uh, put my car on the shop numerous times, but he hasn't been able to put new tires on it. It's been raining a lot lately, so my co-worker and my husband agreed that I don't need to be out on the road slipping a slide. My co-worker told me he'd give me a ride to work on rainy days. The first day he picked me up, he said he was very excited to finally be alone with me. That was like music to my ears because we've always had weird sexual tension between us at work. By the third rainy day that week, he and I were laid up on the back seat of his Range Rover smoking weed Hello? and pleasuring each other over and over again. Hello? We got freaky in the back of his Rover four separate times and then my husband caught us. I had my burned phone turned off and I planned to tell my husband it died. I almost died when my husband showed up and was Hello? peeking through the tenant windows. He put me out of the house, but he is still friendly with my I'll co-worker. You, my I'm co-worker and time. I are avoiding each other at work, and I can't help but think I got oh. set up. Or is it a coincidence? Oh. Since they're both being oh. mean, oh. should oh. I go see if my co-worker's wife wants to chat? Don't do that. Why should I be the only person oh. in trouble? Oh. <laughs> because you're the one that was already next. Oh. Oh. Too, huh? I mean, oh. What is the need to bring his wife into this situation and exactly. cause her pain because you got caught cheating with her husband by your husband? Uh, when you cheat and do crazy stuff, the consequences could be anything. That's right. This is your fault. So, so what? You had sexual tension with the guy at work. Uh, you didn't have to act on it. You didn't it. have to act on it. That's true. He's your husband. Friend, you forgot about that. I mean, what about this? Don't you get? And I, I use the term friend very, very loosely here because friends don't do. What's your coworker? Pause, guys. When I come back, it's not gonna be just me. I mean, it's gonna be me by myself because the grandbaby's about to go. Hey, guys. Well, as you can see, the grandbaby is gone. So let's really get into this letter. Okay. Your co-worker is trash for his part in this. Yeah, he is. Being set up, your husband had a tracking what kind of device is... on you, okay? Huh? He didn't need friend? to set you up. You did that yourself. Now you're out and you want revenge. That's all this is. But his wife didn't do anything to you. You got to let her live. As for as for you, wife, you you gambled and lost. Uh, and, I really and instead think... uh, of you trying to fix the situation... You know, it's, instead of you trying to fix the situation, you're trying to hurt your, hurt your co-worker's lover, your co-worker slash lover's wife by telling her. I just don't think that's right. You, you should learn from this wrong experience. Why did your husband put that crack in your, your phone in your purse to begin with? You did this. That's what I want to know. You did this. 
So that's what it goes back to. It goes to back why you got to check in your pocketbook. The things that people write us for advice. I've been asking for the longest who writes these goddamn letters. I mean, wh what's wrong with you? you I ask that I all the time. Who writes these letters? I ain't really letters. got nothing to do with her actions, but I, I, I just like going deep into the letter. Mm -hmm. uh, you had an affair. You got caught in the backseat of rain. That's crazy. Know. Yeah, they couldn't go to a motel. There, there you go. Now, and then she said, I thought we were all cool. What do that mean? <laughs> what, what, right. you I get it. All of us were cool. So no, I get it. We cool like but I I'm your homeboy wife. Can put a tracking device in my That's the question. Now, listen to me. You must be the only one that thought all y'all was cool. Because why else would your husband even have to put a tracking device in your purse? So Something had to happen before this. Kids, you kind of stupid. Something had to happen before this. not this stupid. This Something happened. Women Something happened. You usually are the first to know something is wrong. Something you know, happened. You did, you thought all she did something to make that man put a tracking device in her pocketbook. So your, your car ain't been serviced in years because it's an import and the tune-up is very expensive and you need two tires and they're expensive too. Now your husband put you in the Trying shop. Trying to keep up with the junk? Put your car in the shop a few times, but he wasn't able to put your two new tires on. Here we go. Find something you can't afford. See, it's one thing to get a big house. It's another thing to maintain. It's one thing to buy an import, but these imports cost more money to fix because the parts have to be shipped in usually from overseas, which adds to the cost. Yep. It is expensive. So you, your husband have made the decision better to have your car running and rolling than I would stop it on the highway. My but now it's been raining a lot. And now your tires is bad. But here was the part that got me. Your co-worker and your husband agreed that I don't need to be out on the road. Pause one more time, y'all. I'm sorry. How does it? Pause. I'm sorry, y'all, but I got a lot going on. It's just, it's, it's been a day. But let's hey, continue. Then went to your co-worker to discuss his wife's safety. That's crazy right there. And so it's been raining, so your husband, your co-worker agreed that he give you a ride on rainy days. The first day you picked me up, he said he's excited to be alone with you, and that was music to your ears, because y'all have always had a weird sexual tension between us. It's not it weird. weird. It's sexual this tension. This is sexual. It ain't weird. Girl. <laughs> but then by the third rainy day, he and I was laid up in the back seat of the Range Rover. I come back with Tim. I think that's why that enough. man we'll put a track in your car. coming up. Cause you already peak game on that. But since we didn't um, I didn't have to do that. I'm gonna pause this. Pause this, and then I'll come back. Hold on. All right, yeah, we back. Let's listen. The subject: rainy day romances in the Rover. So now you done got caught in the back seat with a coworker because your husband put a tracking device in your purse. So did he put the tracking device in your purse before or after you got caught? I thought we was all cool. How did you think y'all was all cool? Something was wrong for your husband even put a tracking device. That's what I'm saying. It had something had to have been wrong. He couldn't you got an import that y'all can't afford, so you can't afford to tune up any tires. So your husband did the right thing. At least let me keep the car from running down and breaking over, girl. But you still need new ties. So now your co-worker and your husband, who is friends... How did they devise this thing? Something about this day. whole letter ain't right. So your co-worker agreed to pick you up on rainy day. And then when he got into the car, he said he was really glad to be alone with you. Because, uh... Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Girl, you left out a lot of shit. That's all I'm going to say. You left out a lot of shit because you don't want nobody to judge you. Nope, you left out a lot of shit. It's not weird. You all had sexual tension between y'all. You, your husband's friend, and co-worker. By the third day that week, <clears throat> I don't understand. We laid up on the back seat in the Range Rover, smoking weed, Come on, girl. Girl, come, girl, I'm sorry. 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 Girl, I'm sorry.
Bobby, but come on. In the back of his Range your husband ain't just caught y'all. Your husband, your husband been knowing this shit been going on. So you done did something else with somebody else. The police report is involved. Mm-hmm. This is where uh, 911 was dialed. Yeah. This is where uh, somebody was on a gurney. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of missing shit on this level. This is where there's a crime scene in Yeah, some time some crime tape. But yeah. Oh, no, none of that happened. I had my phone turned off, and I was going to tell my husband that. See, you skipped some shit, bro. I almost died when my husband showed up and was peeking through the tinted window. He put me out the house, but he's still friendly with my co Something about that ain't right. How do you know that? They all work together. And what kind of man are you married to? Because I don't know how, if that's true, we still friendly at all. I'm still trying to figure out why none of what I just said is in this letter nowhere. Where are the police? What hospital was somebody taken to? Right. What crime scene? Who still was able to go to work the next day? Right. My co-worker and I are avoiding each other at work, and I can't help but think I got set up. You got set up? Shirley's right. You did this yourself. Ain't nobody set you up. You was doing something. Yeah. Something about his friend that got his, your husband suspicious. Yeah. Because he put a tracking device in your pocketbook. Since they're both being mean. No. Should I go see if my co-worker's wife wants to check? Why should I be the only person in trouble? Because you I'm did what you did. Why should I be the only person in trouble? Well, let me help you out with this part right here. When you go chat with the man's wife, what you gonna tell? Ain't you still gonna be in trouble? So you're thinking, who is at fault here? Is it your husband because he put a tracking device? No. For that? Is your co-worker wrong for being sexually attracted to you? Was your co-worker wrong for bringing the weed to the back That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Y'all could have just been in the back seat discussing work. Well, but y'all was in the back pleasuring each other over and over and over. So I'm going to tell you why I got problems with this whole letter. You and the co-worker. If I'm the husband, both of y'all got a problem. Now I'm putting you out and I'm not taking you back. That's okay. That's, that's the this type of woman, I don't want you back. You know, if, if all it takes is some weed and a ride, you, what, where Uber at? Uber Black, anything. But hell, if you can't afford tires, your Uber account right. probably cut off. So I don't, I don't really know, lady, where you want us to go with this letter. But your husband, though, this weak pie back ass dude, I don't understand. See, first of all, I got you to put you out, and you're not coming back. But my boy, though, the dude that's my friend. Supposedly, see, yeah. First of all, man, I'm going to do your ass for disrespecting me. See, see, me and the little friend, and he got a problem because he disrespected me. I don't think they set you up. I don't think it was a setup at all. I don't know how they still friendly unless your man just a coward and he's scared of the coward. That's the only thing I can prove with this. But I don't really care what happened to you. You go get put out and you call in the lady, uh, his husband, and you call in the man's wife, still gonna keep you in trouble. It is. The same person that's in trouble. You, you're not gonna solve your problem at all. But you're not trying to solve your problem. You're trying to shift the blame. That's right. So I would love Good luck. All right, Steve, post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter at Steve Harvey FM on Instagram and Facebook. And check out the Strawberry Letter All podcast right. on demand. I'm coming up at 46. All right, here's the thing. Y'all heard Shelly heard Steve. Something about this letter here is missing some shit. <clears throat> because you say your husband put a tracking device in your purse. I'm assuming this happened before the co-worker. So what did you do? 
What did you do before the co-worker? Because there is no way in the hell your husband just decided one day, you know, I'm going to put a tracking device in my wife's purse. So I know where she at. What's she doing? I mean, this don't make no sense. What did you do? No, look, better yet, let me rephrase that question. Who did you do? Who did you do? Now, if this tracking device came after, that means that y'all was having sex way before you got caught. Because this is not making no sense. He put a tracking device in your purse. Then the car went bad. Then the, him and the, the husband and the co-worker made this agreement, this decision, that the co-worker should be the one to take you to work. Where your husband call? You can't drop him off to work and drive his car? See, lady, you tried to be slick. You tried to be, you tried it, girl. You tried it. Because there's no way to help. This thing is out of sequence. Now, if if he suspected before he put the tracking device in your pocketbook, and then he decided that that was what he was going to do because he had already suspected. And even with that, here's the thing with that. You keep calling that dude that you slept with his homeboy. How's that his homeboy? And what the hell made him and his homeboy come with his damn... When do, when do you get... I'm trying to think. I don't think I would ever... That kind of game, that game that y'all be playing, that new age shit, where you set your people up, that new age shit right there, that shit right there, because whatever's in the wash, where I go... Whatever's in the wash will come out in the rinse. Whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. Y'all don't got to be doing all these setups, bro. Because I'm telling you, them setups get your ass set up. Y'all stop doing them little, I'm going to set my husband up. I'm going to set my wife up. I'm going to set my girlfriend up. I'm going to set my boyfriend. Stop doing that shit because y'all can fuck around and get an innocent person killed. Because y'all want to fucking play. All you had to do was wait. Wait, the shit would have came out eventually. But now you and your homeboy, him and his home, your husband and his homeboy, dude you was having the thing with, made this agreement that he would take you to work. Homeboy would take you to work. My thing is, your husband suspected something. He should have put you... See, and the fact that he allowed this to go on, now he acting... Now you sitting on there on the outs. You on the outs. But they still the best of buddies. I think that's a fucking lie. Just like Steve said, his punk ass scared of that dude. Because it ain't this don't make no sense. You can say what the fuck you want. This story is out of chronological order. It's some shit missing. You telling lies. Now the fact is, you did get caught. You got red caught red-handed with your probably your ass in the air. Or maybe his ass is in the air. But you got caught in that car. You couldn't lie your way out of that one. It wasn't nothing you could say. But the, you, the, what y'all need to do, when y'all start writing these letters, when these people start writing these letters, I really would appreciate if these people just, <clears throat> if y'all gonna write into a nationally syndicated show with a the story, tell the truth, bro. Because y'all just out here for all, shock and all value. Y'all do this shit for shock and all. And it's ridiculous. Because if I'm listening to this letter right, you start the letter off with, he put a tracking device in my purse. Question, why? Nobody don't wake up in the morning, so I'm just put a tracking device in my husband's wallet. I'm going to put a tracking device in my wife's purse. Nobody wakes up with that bullshit. You did something, sis. I don't give a damn what you say. You did something. You did something, and it caused you a whole bunch of BS. And now you just got to live with it. You on the outs, and your husband's a punk. So you might as well just go ahead on and continue having your little fling till you write the next letter about, this is part two, of how I got caught in the Range Rover, in the rain. Because you lying. You fucking lying. 
if y'all can't tell the whole fucking story, but don't tell the story at all. And these these are elaborate. I don't care what nobody say. These stories are way too fucking elaborate, bro. Trash man, excuse me, y'all. Them them them. So these stories, they not even like these stories is way too far fucking fetched to be real. But you know, I've been saying that since I made that story years ago about the daughter, the son-in-law. I'm pregnant by my son-in-law. That so that was my first shocker. That was the first story that shocked me on Strawberry Letter. Y'all, if I'd have been doing these videos like I was supposed to be, I'd have probably had about a thousand videos. Because I've been doing this shit about five, seven years. Five between, I think, between five and seven years now. I think. Something like that. And and that's the whole thing. These letters are so outlandish and so off the fucking wall. And you ain't you ain't even got it in chronological order and you still mix the pieces. Like, I'm tired of y'all caught writing these letters and not telling the goddamn truth. If you gonna get if you at least tell the truth. At least make that shit believable. Come on. He put because the first question everybody wanna know is what did you do for him to put a tracking device in your purse? Because people with good relationships don't get tracking devices, baby. Somebody was suspect about something. So you might as well tell the truth. Me and the co-worker been screwing around talking about we had star. Bitch, y'all been fucking. And the husband knew. He just had to catch you. And that tracking device is exactly what did it. So you deserve everything you get, sis. That's it. You didn't say whether y'all had no kids. I mean, it's a ho this thing is so full of holes. You can write this. You can send this motherfucker to the Swiss sheet factory. And they will gladly pay you for this because this motherfucker story is so full of holes. Oh, my God. Anyway, this your girl, Miss Benjamin Buttons 01. As usual, like, comment, share, subscribe. I know I ain't got no new subbies, but for the ones that are here that I recently realized are here. Hey, guys. I'm not in the best of spirits. And then my little funky bunker done gone, so I'm a little kind of down. My, my, my puppy transitioned uh, this morning, so... Miss you, brown boy. Rest in power, sweetie, with your bad ass. But this your girl, Miss Benjamin Buttons, on one. Like, like, share, comment, subscribe. Something like that. I'm out. <laughs>